Hey y'all, welcome to Castle Hive. Brian here. We got a ton of work here to do today. So what we're gonna do, this hive here, uh, this was a swarm that I caught, um, had a virgin queen. I'm gonna check it and see if she's made it. If I see eggs in there, signs of brood, I'll try and find her, mark her. Um, depending on the amount of bees in there too, you'll notice that I have extra deeps for all of these colonies across the front. Um, going to check this one here also, this is a split. I have an extra box for that. The next one that was a split, got an extra box for that. Uh, that next apame there, that was that first swarm. I got an extra box for that. Um, the double nuke, uh, I'm gonna add boxes onto that as well. Give them room to grow out. Uh, the very last swarm that I got, I got an extra box for that. So we got a lot of room. I'm gonna assess, go through and inspect each of these colonies here. Um, check and see how they look and throw the second deep if it's needed. So let's crack this one here open. I'm curious if that queen got mated or not. Um, be happy if she did. So let's get this one here cracked open. Okay, y'all. Look at this. Look, look at this get up. Look at this get up. Let's see what they show us. Yeah, they're not taking it. So I was hoping they would take that fondant there. Um, just to get rid of it, but well, that right there is what I was looking for. So we've got brood on here. So the queen, oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Right there. Good frame. Uh, since these are all new colonies, you know, swarms here and then splits, uh, I'm not putting supers on anytime soon with these. I've got Apovar here, so um, I was going to do OA, but with my travel, my work schedule here coming up, I got to do what I got to do. So if I did uh, OA, I would only be able to do one treatment now, and then like a week later do a treatment, and then two weeks later a treatment, so it's just not, it's not good. Um, this here, man, if I get it out of here. Uh, the Apovar, um, two strips per five frames of brood. So, um, man alive, is this stuff stuck in there? There we go. So, look at that beetle there. And there we go. Okay. I'm going to move on to the next colony now. So, let me get this back together. Good deal. Let's see what the next uh, Apome here shows us. All right, y'all. Let's see what this colony shows us. I'm looking down here, and we've got bees from here over. So five frames here, six frames. Um, I'm just going to give them the room. Uh, let me open this up, and I'll show you why. Okay, look at this brood frame here. Solid, okay? Look at this right here solid all right what that means is we've got a couple thousand bees that are going to hatch out here very shortly okay uh probably the next you know within the next few days next week okay here's another frame here man that's good all of that brood is going to hatch out they're going to need the room so you know with me uh there's my beautiful queen right there. She is just doing an excellent job. Nice fat girl there, too. Look at her. Look at her. Excellent job. So, you know, we figure we've got those frames of brood in here, okay? And nine frames there, okay, total. Um, when all that brood hatches out, this colony is going to be booming. So I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, Apovar in here as well. Uh, add on that second box. And this colony here is going to be set for a little bit. So let me grab uh, my Apovar. Slide one down here. And we're going to go one right up over here. Um, this colony here doing great. Uh, so far I'm happy. Uh, that first swarm is queen right. This split here, 
got that queen good. So let's move on to the next split, see how that one's doing. Well, this right here was a Brian goof. I had this top entrance there facing the wrong way. I can already tell this colony is packed with bees. All right, so I'm just going to look in here real quick, see if there's any cups. Well, brood on there. Good there. You know, you get into a nice heavy flow and these hives will just explode. Beautiful brood frame. Brood frame. Gosh, that looks awesome. These queens do such an amazing job. Okay, so we're getting over into newer brood, okay? Eggs. Now, this hive's telling me they need room. They're laying this up. There's eggs on here, okay? Some larvae, all right? Nice, beautiful coloring on these bees, too. My queen should be right in around either this or the next frame. Okay, so didn't find the queen. That's okay. Uh, you don't always have to. I found plenty of signs of her. Um, found, you know, eggs, larvae. So we are good. They're getting some uh, apivar. Y'all, found the queen on the inner cover. What I did with her right now, though, is I marked her. So let me, uh, I can't believe that. Leave it up to Brian to do something like that. Check your inner covers. Lesson. Lesson learned. All right, let's get on to this next Apame here and uh, see what that one shows us. This right here is one of the uh, hybrids from uh, Uribe honeybees. So much calmer. You know, this, this colony was always bumping me and they just, they weren't happy. Um, let me move this smoker. You know, they just were not happy. You can kind of tell, you can read your colonies larvae all through there. Oh my gosh. She is laying it up. Okay. This whole entire area here filled. She is laying it up. This whole frame here. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Holy Moses. There she is too. Look at how massive she is. Wow. I'm impressed. So I'm going to put that back together there. Slide this over. This colony is getting that second box. Now, what this is going to do is give these colonies, like I said, they're going to have all that room. When that brood hatches out, you know, where are the bees going to go? So I'm giving them that room right now. All right, uh, let's move over to the double nuke. I am curious to see what that uh, Caucasian is doing over here for us. So let's get on over to the double nuke. All right, y'all. Let's see what, uh, what these look like. Now, for those that are wondering about these double nuke setups, what I have learned, and, and so I'm going to start out also this isn't like, I don't offer an expert, you know, expert advice, expert opinions. This is Northeast Ohio right here in my apiary, what I do. I've learned when you have these double nukes, they fill out very fast. So you have to stay on top of them like crazy. Um, now, that said, what I learned uh, you can pull frames of brood, okay? You can... Nice. Uh, you can also put a queen excluder and then super these colonies as well. 
give them something to do. Uh, we got eggs clear across this frame here. So, there she is. There she is. The uh, Caucasian hybrid. Look at her. Just the coloring on her. She's looking. Let's see if we can get her laying an egg. Because she's looking. Beautiful color. Wow. She, I tell you what. She ain't going to find a cell on there. There's, there's eggs clear across there. So she's going to go back in. I tell you, all I'm going to do right, for right now is it's one strip of Apivar per uh, five frames of brood. So this colony here being its size, I'm just going to put one strip on each side. Okay, there we go. Throw this one on back here. This app of our strip is for that colony over here. So let me give uh, these girls, and I tell you, right here, that's why I like these new stands. Good. Now, you know, back to these double nukes, um, really what I've learned is they are very beneficial to have in an apiary just because. You know, they offer you a lot of leeway, a lot of room to play around. And what I mean by that is, you know, if these colonies are building up and I have my honey producers that maybe could use, you know, uh, a boost in population, I can pull a frame out of here and put it back there. Beautiful queen right there. Okie doke, this one's together. Let's get on to this last swarm over here, uh, see what that one shows us. So, very happy with all these colonies here so far, so doing awesome. Let's jump on over here. All right, now, this last one is a swarm that I caught. So, this is the first time that I'm doing an inspection on it. I don't know if it had a queen. I don't know, you know, if it had a virgin. I don't know anything about this colony here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's definitely a queen in here. It's queen right. Now, next frame also. This is another premiere that... Look at this. I ain't going to clean that up now. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to let these girls go. Um, I'm just going to put that back together for now. Uh... I know I'm going to regret doing this, but I know this colony is queen right because there's eggs and larvae, okay? There we are. Let me get my uh, apple bar, and I'm going to put that in here, and then I'm also going to add in that second box. All right, y'all, from this front row, this hive here, got a queen in there, saw eggs, saw larvae, put in apple bar. Next one here, we add, We basically went down the row here, added on that second deep to all of these. Uh, queens are doing great. Um, in that Apame, that very first swarm, that queen is laying it up in there. Um, very, you know, I'm, I'm impressed with all these colonies here so far. Um, they're all doing great. I want to jump back here real quick and check on this other little split. And just check the supers on those other colonies there. So I'm not going to get down into the brood chambers just because a little over a week ago they had virgin queens in them. So it's just not time yet. But let's get back there. I want to see what this back row shows us. All right, y'all. So what I did here was that pro nuke, I moved them into uh, this seven frame apame. So we cycled it to the back here. Got ants in the top here. Now, I'll tell y'all how I get rid of ants. They'll get cinnamon. And I'll show you how I'll do that. All right. Let's check and see what uh, this... Uh, this was a quick split, too. Let's see what it shows us. Oh, my gosh. 
I tell you what, I'm, I'm, look at that queen on there. Look at the colors in the sun. Look at that. I mean, wow, massive. That queen right there, gosh. Yeah, same thing here too. All right, so this colony here, they're pretty good. They're set. Queen is in here. She's laying. They have some room. Now, I'm going to show you all what I do when I get ants, okay? It's just what I do. So we're going to put those back, okay? They're right there. Now, you noticed I had ants right in along there. Well, I've got my trusty bee bag. And what's in my bee bag, right here, regular cinnamon, okay? Ground cinnamon. All that I'll do, and won't have another, won't have any more ants here, okay? Throw that in there. All right, watch this. Watch this. This is all I do. Look at that. Now, the ants that were up in there won't have none. So, um, very happy with how this colony here looks also. Uh, let's jump on over to the bee castle and see how those supers look. I'm very curious, so let's get on over there. All right, y'all. See what these supers look like. A little bit. So they're just starting, okay? Um, not doing anything else with this colony, okay? I don't need to go down into the brood chambers because it's not time yet. Uh, a week and a half ago, there were virgins emerging, so I'm not checking that lower there. So let me just get this back together and let's go over and check on uh, the bee box. All right, same thing here. Uh, I'm just gonna get into the lower super just to see what they're doing. And not much activity just yet. So, I'm not even going to go any further with this colony. Um, I don't need it right now. Put it back together. Let's get them out of there. All right. Whew. Let's get an update. All right, y'all. So, we got... Swarm right here. That's queen right. Added in the second box. Um, split here in the Apame. It's it's doing great. Uh, plenty of brood added in the second box. Um, next split, we uh, did the same thing. Added in another box. That very first swarm, that queen's laying it up. Um, added in the second box. Next double nuke here. We added in two more boxes there. And other swarm there, that's queen right also, added in the second box. Now, what I'm gonna have to do with that colony, and I just don't have the time today to do it. Um, I'm leaving for out of town here soon, uh, you know, so I don't have time really to swap frames and do all that kind of stuff with that colony. Um, I'm just gonna let it build out. It'll be a mess, I'll clean it, you know, that, that's just what it is. Now in the back here, that small little split down there, uh, doing great. Queen's laying it up in there. So we're all happy with that. Now, Bee Castle and the Bee Box, um, they're just starting to touch the supers on those. Um, we'll be getting into the flow here, you know, very soon. So I expect them to get into, uh, you know, laying up those supers. But, um, you know, overall here, the apiary, you know, when I walk up front here, and you all look at the apiary now. Look at this. So, 2022 beekeeping beekeeping season, y'all. I said it's going to be a great season. So, um, appreciate everybody that's watching. Uh, colonies are looking great. So, y'all take care. I'm going to get out of the heat. Um, enjoy probably a good iced tea. 
And uh, till the next time, y'all. Y'all have a good one.